ladies and welcome to another video. For those of you who are new, my name is Brenda and today I'll be sharing with you the swatches of all my gel polishes. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that I do not like to store my polishes in drawers. I like to have them on display. The only issue with these plain gel polishes is that if you have them in racks like this one, you are not able to see the little label on the top of the cap which shows the color that is inside the bottle. Some of you may know that unlike regular nail polishes, gel polishes come in dark bottles and obviously you're not able to see the color through the glass. That little noise in the background is my baby and she's always here with me when I'm filming. Anyways, we're about to swatch all my gel polishes and I'm gonna bring you along so you can see the before and after. So if you wanna see all that, please keep watching. First off, let me start by showing you what I'm going to be using today to swatch all my gel polishes. These are swatching rings that I found off Amazon. I got these about two months ago. The package contained 100 of these. I do not have 100 gel polishes, which means that I'll still have a couple left to spare for whenever I purchase more. And real quick, I want to show you my latest nail art creation. You'll be getting a tutorial on this next week. All right, so there are two reasons why I wanted to swatch all my gel polishes. The first one's being that I wasn't able to see the colors because, you know, most of the gel polishes come in dark bottles that do not allow you to see what color is inside. But the second one was that we were renovating the bathroom across the hall where I have my nail room and it was very, very dusty. I had dusted and cleaned the entire nail room, but there was still so much dust in between each bottle of gel polish that I couldn't stand it and I knew that I had to do something about it. And this just seemed to be the perfect time to do so. While I'm still working, I have two weeks off from college because we finished winter term and we're about to start spring. So I figured that while Selena is sleeping, I have that little extra time to do things that I have been wanting to do for a while. So let's get to a little bit of swatching. First, I am swatching this polish because this is one of the very few gel polishes that I have not tried. Believe it or not, I have gotten to use most of my gel polishes, but this one right here I'm trying to use for a spring manicure. Anyways, I had to apply two coats to try to give it as much opacity and accuracy of the color as possible whenever I have it on display. I did not have to use a base coat, but I did have to use a top coat. The reason being that if you do not apply a top coat, the gel polish is very sticky and everything that it touches would get stuck to it. So I didn't want to have a dirty nail display. I wanted to make sure that everything was sealed and perfect. Right here, I wanted to show you that this swatching ring was a little bit big for this specific gel polish brand, but it actually fit perfectly some other of them. Another thing is that the swatching ring looks so much better compared to the ugly stickers that I had on the caps of the gel polishes. So I'm actually very pleased that I was able to get to do this because I have been wanting to do this for a while, but I just knew that it would take me a lot of time. So I had to put the work on it. It was actually very satisfying to be able to organize my gel polishes, knowing that I would be able to see what the color inside the bottle looks like. And as you might be able to notice here, I do not like to display my polishes by color. I like to display them by brand. I'm weird like that, but I really like how all the same gel polish bottles look in the same rack because they all have the same shape. So it actually looks a lot more organized than having just mixed matching brands in between. And that's just not how I like to organize my nail polishes. I think the only way that keeping the stickers on the cap would have worked for me is if I had all the red polishes together, if I had all the nude polishes together. But once again, that would have meant that I had to put different brands together and then I would have all these different shape bottles in different racks and I just do not like to do that. I actually organize my regular nail polishes the same way. I obviously have a lot more regular polishes than I do gels. And I know a lot of my fellow nail artists here like to organize them by color and there is nothing wrong with that. That's just personal preference, but that's just how I like to organize my nail polish bottles. 
So we have gotten to this specific brand and this is the main reason why I really wanted to do the swatches and it is because all these gel polish bottles are pink. So there is really nothing in front of the bottle that tells you what it is the color inside. It was really hard to deal with that. And right here is another gel polish that I'm hoping to use sometime soon for a spring manicure. This is an iridescent topper and it actually doesn't show much on the nail tip but it would look so much better on a dark base. I'm just not going to do that because I'm trying to keep the colors true to what they look like inside without any modifications. In all honesty, it was very satisfying going through this process and every time that I put a polish in the rack, I felt that it looked so pretty just having all of them swatch right along each other, being able to see the colors. At this point, I was about done organizing all the gel polishes and I'm about to show you as well the before and after pictures. As you're about to see, it made such a huge difference to have the swatching ring on the gel polishes because now it just looks all bright and happy. And here is a close look of all my gel polishes after they were swatched. To be honest, I did not count them, but I did have about 20 swatching rings left, so I'm assuming I have about 80 gel polishes. There is one more thing that I would like to do and that is find a way to lift up the row on the back because you can really not see much of the nail polishes that are all the same height so I kind of have to fix that. I might have to put something underneath the back row but that's just going to happen later on. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Another cool thing that I discovered is that I do not hate my magnetic gel polishes as much as I thought I did. Every time that I look at them, I thought that they looked so ugly, but now that I have them swatched, they actually look very pretty. So I might use those sometime soon as well. All right, and that is everything that I had to share with you today. I hope that this video brightened up your day. I hope that it took your mind off the crazy things that are happening right now in the world and just gave you a break from everything bad that's happening. This is just a happy moment. This is my happy place and I just wanted to share all that with you. As always, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section what did you think about this video and all my gel polish swatches. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.